Hello everybody, my name is Amanda and I am a zookeeper here at Tropical Forest. Today is a very special day that we are spending with our gorilla family, which are just coming out now. Today we are celebrating our youngest female gorilla's sixth birthday. So they're gonna come on out and come hang out with us and spend a whole bunch of festivities. We have lots of treats for them and hopefully they come out. Coming up right here is our birthday girl right there. She just grabbed a pom pom. So with our gorilla troop today, we have um, our youngest, Aziza, who's celebrating her birthday. We have her older sister who's eating out of a cup right now. That is Kambiri. She is turning 11 this year, later this year. We have mom gorilla in the back, Kiki. She turns 40 this year. And we have dad gorilla right here with the nice big silver back and the larger head. That is Kit, and he turns 35 this year. We also have our newest addition to our gorilla family, Pablo, who's gonna be hanging out on mom Kiki's leg or back or arm, and he's about seven months old. So out for our celebration today, we have the normal things the gorillas get, like greens, such as kale, collard, romaine, but they also get several special treats. Right up here visiting us is older sister, Cambiri, and it looks like she's picking at some jello. So these guys got some jello treats made for them by our zookeepers. They get a special biscuit, which they don't get very often because it's a special treat for them, kind of like cookies or cakes and ice cream just for your birthday. And so she's eating some of that. Aziza's just ripping up some bags, finding out what's in those in the background. They have her name and her face on them. And it looks like they're filled with popcorn. So these guys are really cool and they live in these family groups. Um, in the wild, they're gonna stay relatively with their family groups, at least the females. And then once the males get old enough and mature, they will move on. So we do just have dad here and then baby Pablo. Kambiri is really enjoying that jello. <laughs> so these guys do eat lots of fun things um, in their normal day-to-day -day diet. So they're gonna have things like carrots and celery and green beans and cucumbers, as well as all the greens you see here on exhibit. Then additionally to that, they get special treats, just like how we have lots of variety in our diet. We like to provide our troop with variety as well. So they do get fun things. Hi, Cranberry, was that fun? Um, they do get special things like this popcorn, but this jello treat is specifically made. It looks like Cambiri's now eating an ice treat that was made by our zookeepers. I believe that had a slice of banana and cantaloupe as well as grapes and bananas. And it looks like she's really just liking eating that banana. So a lot of people might think that they only eat banana, but it's again, just a special treat for them. Kambiri's really interacting with all of our enrichment today, and that's an ice block that seemed too difficult to try to get. Cam, you're supposed to save the cake for your sister. Looks like Kambiri wants to eat the cake all by herself. So these guys are foragers, so they're gonna be looking for food on the ground, picking it from high places, um, and in the wild, that would be lots of leaf mat leafy material, any kinds of fruits or veggies or buds or flowers, anything that they can find. Which is why, to encourage that natural behavior, we kind of put their food a little scattered all over the place so that they can move around and find their food as they would in the wild. Looks like Aziza found an, a jello tree, I believe, up on that tree. So Aziza was born, she turned six this year. She is the fourth girl born to pair Kiki and Kit, and with our newest addition being their first boy, um, Pablo, who was born in October. Is there a hierarchy to their eating? Like, do they wait to make sure that one of them gets food before the other? So I just got asked the question if there is a hierarchy in the way that they eat, and not so much. Um, Mom still kind of has a lot of the um, power, and so she'll kind of move the girls off before. And now we get a very lovely look at our mom and baby Pablo, he's on her back leg right there. So he's gonna stay on holding on to mom um, for a couple more months now. He is mobile and can move without her, um, but mostly that's only gonna take place when they're sitting and they're resting. 
Otherwise, she, he's kind of stuck going wherever mom wants to go. <laughs> Luckily, these guys are born with a very, very good grip um, and are very good at holding on to him. He is on a more solid food diet now, um, so he does still drink from mom, but he will pick up anything that he finds and put it in his mouth. Yesterday, us zookeepers got sent a very, very cute video of him with a quarter of an apple in his mouth. It looks like Cambiri didn't save any of her cake for her sister who it was meant for, but you know, that's sisters for you. First come, first serve. <laughs> oh, Ziza's coming up maybe for some revenge. Oh good, she did get a bit of her cake. So that cake is made with the, a special biscuit. So these guys, just like dogs get dog food, these guys get primate food. And so it leaves a little bit of dust. We can pound them together and they can, um, then we re reform it into a birthday cake. So Cam is older than Aziza. Um, Cam is older than, Avi and than Aziza, so she does have a little bit more, um, she's more weight to her, so she will definitely chase Aziza off if she doesn't want to share. But Aziza is getting bigger, and so she's definitely starting to stand her ground. She's definitely the troublemaker of the group. We have one it's, question here. Mm -hmm. Do Aziza and Cambiri pay, pay a lot of attention to Pablo? So do Aziza and Cambiri pay a lot of attention to Pablo? They definitely do. Sometimes mom likes to pass off the babysitting duties. Um, so Aziza and Cambiri both are actually learning how to parent by watching their mom parent Pablo, which is really good for them because then later on in their lives, when they are ready to start their own families, they have a really good example. Kiki's a really good mom and does let the girls. Cambiri is really good with the baby. Most of the time holds him properly. When she was first learning how to hold him, she was definitely holding him upside down and he was crying a lot, but she's gotten much better. Aziza, is considerably younger and has not seen another baby get raised since she is our youngest female. So she is less gentle. There's many a times where they hurt us zookeepers. <laughs> Good job. So there's apple and some brows, which is not weed, in that ice tree. And so she's breaking it so that she can learn. Aziza just saw her sister do it. So now she's gonna learn how to do it and steal all the rewards from her sister's hard work question about the gorilla conservation and are they endangered? Can we talk more about Yeah. So these guys are western lowlands gorillas which are endangered in the wild. Most of the reason behind that is human cause. So one is loss of habitat. So unfortunately during in their habitat spans a range of Africa that is really rich in a mineral called coltane. Us as humans, we really like using coltane in electronics, and unfortunately, because of that, there's a higher demand, so a lot of their habitat is being destroyed and used for mining of that mineral. Here at Franklin Park Zoo, we actually are working with, um, are in a partnership where we can recycle our electronics um, right here in, <laughs> some sassy over there, right here in the tropical forest, um, to be able to reuse that coltane and help re reduce the need for it um, so we can hopefully start saving their habitat. You can see dad kind of is just like very good hanging out in the back just eating his greens. Pablo's eating some greens over there. It looks like he's really much enjoying his iceberg. We do have a very exciting development here at Franklin Park Zoo. Right now, if you come, you might see that there's a lot of construction around the outside of the tropical forest. We are opening, hopefully by the end of this summer. Hi, Pablo. You can see he's moved onto mom's back. Hi, Kiki. Hi, Pablo. Look at that face. But we are actually in development of an outdoor exhibit, which hopefully will be finished at the late late summer and hopefully these guys can go out and enjoy the outside and you can see them outside you can see him moving around enjoying all these fun snacks 
Let's see, what does Pablo have in his mouth? These are all novel food items for him. He hasn't been around too long, so a lot of this stuff he's never had before. Look like he's really enjoying the popcorn, it looks like, and the jello. So I mentioned that Aziza is number, is daughter number four here between mom, Kit, and Kiki. Their eldest two daughters have moved on to others' use to start their own family. Um, so their oldest daughter, Kira, was is moved to Autobahn, I believe. And their second oldest, Kamani, is in San Francisco. And because they grew up being able to watch mom, Kiki, be able to learn how they mother it's really good opportunity for them to be able to start their families having that knowledge hmm? yeah. all right well thank you so much for joining us for our great celebration and wishing aziza a happy birthday we really hope that you continue to join us for these zutus and we really appreciate it all right bye